Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Honey. And before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and sub to the channel. We just hit 1K. I want to say thank you so much to all my supporters. And today, I'm giving you all a full Save Wizard tutorial on how to get files. The files will be in the link in the description. So let's get straight into the video. First thing you're going to want to do is load into your player. This is my girl's player because I forgot to record it when I did it online. But this is how you do it. You go into your application save data. This is the first thing you do. And you're going to want to copy your save data over. This is exactly how you do it. You go to copy. Once you click copy and you don't have the USB in, it will say this. Plug the USB in. And you're going to be working. So the next thing you want to do. Take the save data, so all you gotta do on PlayStation, all right? Just take your save data, so all you gotta do on your account for right now. Unplug the USB when you're done with this. Go over to Save Wizard. Buy Save Wizard, PS4 Max, that's the best version you could buy. You get two profiles for 60 bucks, meaning you could do two different accounts as many times as you want. Now when you get Save Wizard, this is what you're gonna wanna do to make sure them files are over. Your USB is plugged in. This is what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna see them files there. You go to settings profiles and this is how you could um set a profile as your main you need to register your profile so you click it like that you right click and they'll say register profile you register profile and after you're done with that you're gonna want to exit out of this you're done there so you register your profile and you're done on save wizard for now after you register your profile you're gonna want to open up your file folder just like this go to usb ps4 you're gonna want to open it till you get this file code number just like that now move it up pull out another one the same exact thing another file folder this one is going to be for your actual file now you go to the link in the description and you'll have all the files that i have this is the file i want so i go select it and i'm going to drag it over not on top but just into the white space and once you have the two codes like that you're done Exit out of that and to make sure that you transferred it over to the USB like that. You're going to go over to your save wizard. Once you're in the save wizard, double click. You're going to want to take the code. You're going to re-sign it. Apply it to your account. Once you apply it to your account, man, you're rolling. You're rolling. You're almost done, bro. This is... It's honestly easy once you get it down. All you gotta do is go, copy your data, bring it over to the laptop, make sure you got it into your save wizard, close it, open the files, move the new file over into the old file, make sure it's there in the save wizard, make sure everything's successful. Once everything's successful, you're gonna wanna click X. Next thing you wanna do is open up NBA 2K website. You've already seen I logged out, so you're just gonna wanna remove all accounts. Once you remove all accounts, come back over here. USB plugged in. Copy. Apply to all. And that's it. You got to remove your 2K account, but you will still have it, bro. I'm going to show you all exactly what's going to happen once you load in. Your account's gone, everything like that. You removed your account. Remember, you need to know your email. And once you know your email, you have to confirm it before 48 hours. So y'all see, bro, my shit is removed. No cap to you. That's haunting. Removed. Everything is gone. You guys gonna load in. You gonna see it's gonna say connect. And when it says connect, you did it right, but you don't gotta worry about it, all right? When it says connect, you're just gonna wanna connect and type in that same email, all right? I'm sorry that this is so slow, but I'm I'm not used to talking for 10 minutes long, so if I'm taking deep breaths, bro, that is on me. I'm sorry, y'all, I apologize. But you're just gonna wanna click connect. Once you click connect, they're gonna ask you to put in the email. I'm clearly not gonna show you that. I'm gonna skip. And I'm going to show y'all what it's going to look like after. Now, once you're done, this is what you're going to see. You'll want to go to play now so you make sure you have the files. So do play now first once you connect. All right, clearly, I got the files. I can back out. You know what I'm saying? It, we need to take a second to appreciate this drip, but shit. I'm going to have this file in the description too. Just back out. This is the most important part of it all. Look, you're gonna go to my career. 
and I'm gonna show you the exact way you're gonna wanna test your internet connection. You're gonna do this the first time you load in, you need to. Get the screen like this, double tap the home button, and it's gonna send you back to the game like this, all right? You need to watch carefully. You could try it a couple times. You need to get it down like that, all right? When it hits 96%, if you can't get it at 96, get it at 94. When it hits 94%, you're gonna wanna double tap and click your test internet. When it says type two, and that pops up, you're gonna wanna back out. Don't let any of the other stuff load. And once you back out all the way back to the screen, you will get two error codes and you'll be back at the main menu. You click to load in, all your files are gonna be right there. You get two outfits for each file. So yeah, man, drop a like and sub if you're new. I hope that this video helped y'all out. All you need is a USB and Save Wizard. Save Wizard is $50 for one profile, which means you can do it on one account. 60 for two accounts. You might as well just get the 60 because it's not like 10 more. Check, y'all gonna see I load in. Got my files, everything was legit, bro. Exactly the way I told y'all. Confirm your email. And that's it. If you if you want a quick tip and trick to keep your files, make sure you do not close your application and put it into rest mode and you'll be able to have them in the morning. So drop a like and sub if you're new. I hope this helped you. Until the next time, I'm out.